ever have a karaoke machine? Well, the karaoke machine is what makes the noise, but we're not actually doing karaoke. So, do you guys see this big X right here? When you're talking on the microphone, you're going to stand up with your feet on both sides of the X. And if you're talking with two people, one person is going to stand on one side of the X, and the other person is going to stand on the other side of the X. This is called splitting center. Thank you. <laughs> so, when you're using a mic, you have to respect it, because they are very expensive and they're very delicate. So the first thing you do when you're using a mic, Casey, test if the mic is on, please. Notice what JC did is she touched this button here. She moved it up instead of tapping on the mic. If you tap on the mic, it's going to break some of the stuff inside, and you don't want that to happen because then you're going to have to replace it. So the way you test it's on is with this little switch, and then you talk into it. When The first time you talk into a mic after you turn it on, you always want to say, hello. Because if the mic is on, then you just said hello to everybody. But if it's off, nobody heard you. So it's the best thing to say, hello. And notice JC didn't say it like a question. If she said, hello, then it's not a reading. She's testing if the mic is on or not. So you're only going to hold the mic with one hand because we're going to be holding pieces of paper in our well, sometimes you're holding pieces of paper in your other hand. But we're just going to hold the mic with one hand and we're not going to fidget with it. You never want to touch this part of the mic or this part of the mic. So, when you're holding the mic, you want to keep it an inch away from your face because if you're holding it too close, it's bad for the mic. And if you're holding it too far, it's not going to pick you up. So if you hold it about an inch away from your face and at an angle, if you're going to get the best sound. But you have to remember to still talk a little bit louder, because even though it's making you louder, it isn't making the sound. So if you talk loud enough, it can pick you up. So you have to remember to be really loud. So can you give us an example? Can you say something into the mic? Tell us what your favorite color is. Yes, do it quietly and then loudly. So now can you show us the right way to tell us your favorite color? My favorite color is blue, and now that you can hear that, I'm going to say that it is the best color. I agree. My favorite color is blue as well. Okay. So we're going to play a game, and then we're going to talk into the mics. So you never want to put the mic on the ground or on a flat surface. If I do this, the mic could roll off and get broken. You're always going to give the mic to somebody else when you're done, and then they're going to deal with it. Even if you're on stage, there's people standing in the wings that are ready to take the mic if you're going off stage. And sometimes, if you have a body mic, that's the ones that are taped to your face or clipped to your clothing, then when you go backstage, you have to remember to wait a few seconds before you start talking or making any noise, but it can still, because it can still pick up sound. So. Thank you.